morning. We are on the road and we are headed to another exciting destination because Costa Rica is full of them. But uh, how long of a drive do we have today, Kurt? We have about an hour and a half drive, but I have some news to report. Oh, hold on, Kurt has news. I have some news to report. I am very relaxed. You know, we spent a day and a half, well, a day at the hot springs, and then we just found this nice little campground. Nothing special, just a place for us to relax, get some editing done, take the kitties for a great walk, and I am just relaxed. Not sure I'm ready to hop into another adventure just yet, but we're headed to one, so let's see what happens. Kurt's right, super relaxed. If you missed our last episode where we went to Tabacon Hot Springs, you better stop right now and go back and watch it. Because <laughs> I think that place is so relaxing that it'll make you relax <laughs> through your screen. So, but Kurt's right. That part of the day is over and we are headed to adventure. So we're driving along these roads. We're in the middle of agriculture area. Just really getting from one destination to the other. Shouldn't be anything too interesting out here. But like 10 minutes ago, all of a sudden, scarlet macaws, those big giant red parrot looking birds, flew across the road. There was nowhere to stop or pull over or anything like that because there's drop-offs on both sides of the roads. So it was pretty cool that we got to see that. Especially flying, you don't get to see that very often. And then, we're in this little rural town and two more scarlet macaws fly right over us and land in a tree. But again, we're in a place where they just can't stop. So now we have figured out that we are on the lookout for scarlet macaws and a place where we can stop if we see them. Maybe we'll be able to, maybe not. But I still felt like we needed to tell you because they're cool. We've turned off the main road, headed to our campsite. And you can see pretty mountains with the tops covered in clouds. Some of those are volcanoes. But we are maybe 10 kilometers from where we hope we're gonna camp. All right, we thought our campsite was in the mountains and I was starting to wonder why, why we had not gotten to the mountains yet. Well, we just did. Fast. And we went from flat to mountains really fast. So, here we go. We are 700 meters away from the campsite. We go to the right here, it looks like, Kurt. And we'll have to see, well, is this it here? This, this is the gate. Hola. Hola. You, uh, you speak English? Nada. <laughs> no English? No English. Poquito English? Cero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pera Cascadas, aquí o acá? Aquí. Uh, camping por la noche? ¿Cuánto cuesta? Dos mil colones por persona. Quince, quince mil colones. Dos por día. Oh, 3,500 para cascadas. Okay, donde es parking? Now we are going down this road to where we think. We think we understood right that this is where we will camp and that there are waterfalls down here and maybe a restaurant there. It's pretty cool. We 
just came through a little farm with like little goats yeah. and crossing the path. It you so never cool. know. I mean, they had big signs, but still, it's kind of a humble entrance for an eight cascada hike. Yeah. Must be a little restaurant down here. Yeah, let's see. We're almost there. All right, guys, wave goodbye to snow. Cause we're going on a hike. See you later. Bye. Don't worry, we got the walkie talkies today. This is a solo hike, but I do have the walkie talkies. We saw that we came through the farm, but this right here is supposed to have eight cascadas. And so here's a picture on the board of what I'm supposed to see along the way. And so I'm off. They tell me the time down is about an hour and a half and up is about an hour which doesn't make sense to me because for me down is always easy up is hard but maybe that's including pictures and all the other stuff as you go down i don't know but we're about to find out now off the bat there's little concrete steps right here it's definitely damp and slippery so i'll need to be careful of that we'll see how long this concrete sidewalk remains for the trail. Early on, I'm coming around the base of this big giant tree. You can see the buttresses here, but the trail kind of snakes around them. The trees busted it up, but on the other side, it's straight down. I don't know if you can tell that. I hear the water down there. Already faced with two choices. Rio Toro, you can see pictured there or Catarata Serena. So we're gonna go to the right and take Serena. It didn't take long and I'm already on the first waterfall. Okay, so the path to the right took me to the one waterfall. It dead ended there. So now I got to go back to the crossroads, which is not too far, and head back down, see if I can find the other seven waterfalls. All right, made it past the intersection, and we're going down to the Rio Toro. All right, guys, I'm officially declaring this an all-out adventure hike. I came up to this area and the only way to get around it is on this little bridge. So you can see, I'm kinda right now walking out over the mountain's edge. It's a little eerie. And then there's a spiral staircase here that goes down. And it goes down a long ways. Which makes for a more direct, faster route. So I'm definitely not complaining. So I've made it to the second Cascada. You can see just a light little mist coming down the mountain. It's actually pretty cool. Definitely creates a little air conditioned spot. I always like that. I just passed Cascada number two. All right, guys, this is a bit confusing. So there's clearly a trail down off to the left, which is where the river is. So my instincts would tell me to go there. But then here's a sign for Sendoro. And then here's another trail right here and a third trail. So I'm going to take the one on the right, which 
I normally would just kind of go down towards the river but knowing there's eight waterfalls down here I'm gonna try to stretch it out a little bit and see what happens Number three has a bridge crossing. I almost fell through that. This is not very secure. Let's go guys, let's go. So you guys can see that rickety bridge. That's what I had to cross. I made my way down here. You can see how steep it is. What a beautiful place. And just like that, I made it down to the river. And right away I got a little scamper across these rocks. But you can see this water has some kind of minerals in it that turns the rocks red.
All right, guys. I just saw this huge boulder in front of the waterfall right here. And I just thought to myself, this giant boulder needs climbing. So there's another little boulder here right next to it. So I'm gonna step up on this little boulder. So it always starts with the first step. Woo. All right, mission one is accomplished. I made it up on top of this small boulder. Now I got this big boulder left. You guys can see, I made it on top of the boulder. Three more cascadas. Guys, at the end, this is where I'm gonna stop. It's beautiful. I just saw over across the river, a car came down by the river and parked. Maybe we could put the van right there. But anyway, beautiful spot, fun adventure. 
a lot of rocks to climb on. Plenty of rocks to turn your ankles on, slip around on and have fun. It's a blast. It's time for me to get up to the van, see Snow and the kitties, and grab some lunch. I'm starving. See you guys in the van. So Kurt is back from his crazy eight waterfall adventure hike. I did some editing in the van. And now we're going to go to this little restaurant right here by the van, right at the start of the hiking trail for dinner. Like we look, have to walk 50 feet to eat. <laughs> so let's go have some dinner. All right, you guys know that Kurt always takes you on the tours of the campsites we're at. And he's always showing you the showers and the bathrooms because we do use them at the campsites. And you guys have asked us in the comments a ton uh, about why we do that. Because you think we have a bathroom and a shower in our van. So I thought I would let Kurt explain. <laughs> well, thank you for that, Snow. <laughs> <laughs> but the reality is Snow probably uses the bathroom and the shower inside the van like 90% of the time. Muscle manos. I tend to use the shower and the bathroom if we have outside facilities. Pre-COVID, we mostly stayed at free spots and didn't have facilities. So I usually showered and used the bathroom in the van. Now during COVID, we've been mostly staying at paid sites. So my thoughts are, if I'm paying for the site, I'd just as soon use their facilities as ours. Yeah. Now there have been occasions where I went ahead and used our shower because it was far superior and or I didn't want a cold shower, I wanted a hot shower and we have that in yeah. ours. And so I'm always reminded whenever I take a shower in our van, how good it feels. <laughs> All right, so there you go guys. Our van has a full shower and an awesome bathroom. But if we're paying for a campsite, Kurt's gonna use the facilities. <laughs> there you go. All right, so our dinner, first of all, there's two cans right behind us, but our dinner is, I've got pollo, and Kurt has pescado, rice, beans, a little mashed sweet potato, which is very good, and then this is something new. It's a slaw. I'm guessing made with like a purple cabbage because it all turned purple. <laughs> it was really, really yummy, but I can only have a couple of bites. Because it's heavy on the mayonnaise, but it's yummy. How's yours, Kurt? It's good. Tasty. Little fish. Action. Same sides, but you guys know me. I got to get a little picante on mine. Mm -hmm. So they just changed the pet export laws. They've added another step increases the price a lot um, and it's brand new so they don't know how what's going to happen at the border saying you can test it on a weekend we don't know what will happen doubles the price I'm gonna let y'all just listen for a little bit as the jungle gets ready to go to sleep. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys!